Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Brex BRX PLC Secure Email Communications. Now, detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There will also be links to the rest of the videos in this series as well. So Do More Designer has added security email with SSL and TLS encryption. This feature only is supported on the BRICS PLCs with onboard Ethernet port and the Do More simulator. Now the firmware must be at version 2.2 or higher on the BRICS PLC. You can check your current version by the main menu PLC and then update. So if we look at here, we look at PLC and then we can look at the um, update firmware. And you can see here that my uh, operating system currently right now in the PLC is 2.3. Uh, so we can close that. Another way of looking at that is looking at the PLC and going down to the system information. And under the system information, you will see it right here, it's 2.3. Now at the same time, we need to set up the node and IP configuration. So if we go to, you can go here under the system configuration, the node and IP configuration, and it's set right here. We can also, I cancel out there, and we can go to the, P, um, to the system configuration right here, or PLC system configuration. And under the CPU here, we have the internal ethernet port configuration, we'll have to configure and it comes up with the same information. Now, we're gonna keep everything the same as our last time, but we're gonna look at a DNS, and we're gonna change it to 8888, which is the DNS server, um, domain name server for Google. So we'll just hit cancel out of that. So that's all been set up for us. Next, what we'll do is again, we'll go to our system configuration, and under device configuration, we will select a new device, but this new device will be a Gmail. We'll just name it Gmail. And the user server, or the use server name is gonna be smtp.gmail.com. We're located right here. Then we enable the SSL uh, TLS encryption for security. Our port is 587 and the timeout is 30 seconds. The from email address will be um, GCL short at gmail.com and then we can put in our um, authorized login so our username again is the same as our email in Gmail and then enter a password then what we can do is we can test these settings to make sure that everything uh, is working correctly and when we do what we do is we get our settings are good so we'll hit OK so right now all of our we have our device configured and we have uh, the um, DNS configured. So we'll close that down. And lastly, we'll, let's take a look at this email instruction itself. You can see here that we've selected instead of our uh, at email, we've had at Gmail. And all we've done is uh, change this to the BRX series PLC secure email with attachment. So we've attached it just like we had before. So let's uh, get that. So here's our instruction. And what you'll see on my um, configuration for my PLC, here is my PLC and my Ethernet port that we're currently communicating out of. So let's turn on uh, bit 10, which activates this rung of ladder, ladder logic. Okay. We'll turn that on, we'll execute it, and now we'll turn it off. And you can see here, here's my uh, corresponding bits here. And on success, we have this coming on. So the only other thing to do is to actually call up our email which is right here. And what you'll see is that this is the email that just came in. And here's my log file, which is located right here. So everything looks good. And there is my memory contents that we've done before, which is right now 12,754. 
Now if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us, or you want to get free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription in order to actually get that notification the new, new uh, video has been done. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.